In this tutorial, we'll look at the process of creating network views from the larger network of relationships in your data. There are two basic starting points for creating a network view. You can create a network view from scratch, or you can open up the existing web of relationships for a particular object. To create a network view from scratch, open the Network dialog in the main menu toolbar and select the item New Network View. You can then import the nodes that you'd like to include in the new network. There are a few different ways to add new nodes to a network view. You can go to Nodes and Import Nodes and then select as many objects as you'd like which will then appear in the Network View Editor. To get a quick overview after importing many objects, select Semantic Layout and you can then continue to arrange your network view nodes. As an alternative method for adding objects to your network, you can drag objects from any of your object managers into the network editor. Lastly, you can use some additional drag and drop techniques to add network nodes. If you select a text segment in a primary document and drag it into the network editor, it will automatically appear in the network view and simultaneously be assigned the status of a new quotation. You can drag text from other applications such as Word, PDF files, and also directly from the web into the network view editor to create a new memo as a network node. The second basic way to begin creating a network view is to open up the existing set of relationships for an object. This is a method that you might use when you're interested in a certain concept and would like to take a closer look at it in a network context. Let's say that we're interested in looking at and possibly expanding on the web of relations associated with the code Alchemy. Right-click on the code in the margin or in an object manager to open up a network view. If I had linked the code to another code or to a memo, then it already contains explicit links that will be shown when I open up a network view. If a code has no explicit links and has just been assigned to a series of quotations, then to bring these into a network view, we can right-click on the code and select Import Neighbors. Neighbors are all objects directly linked to a node. To suppress the import of all quotations during this step, hold down the Control key. You can see how many quotations will be imported by right-clicking on the node and selecting List Quotations. Otherwise, you have the option to filter quotations using certain criteria before beginning to create a network view. Codes that co-occur with the selected code can be imported into the network view by selecting the option Import Co-occurring. If you'd like to remove a node from your network view, right-click on the node and select the item Remove from View. This will hide the node in that particular network view. The item Delete node will delete the object in the entire project. That said, keep in mind that changes that you make in a network view such as renaming, deleting, and linking objects are global in scope, which means that they'll have an impact on your entire project. This concludes our second tutorial on working with networks in Atlas TI.